For over a century, our world has run on a single finite resource. It has built empires, started wars, and pushed our planet to the brink. But what if, in a single day, all of that changed? Imagine the news breaking, not in 30 years, but tomorrow morning. A team of scientists announces they've cracked the code. Not just a lab experiment, but a compact, commercially viable fusion reactor. Clean, safe, virtually limitless energy, using fuel we can source from seawater. It's the utopian dream we've always been promised. An end to energy scarcity, the power to desalinate oceans, grow food for everyone, and reverse climate change. But as the world celebrates, a new and far more dangerous reality begins to set in. The global economy is built on oil and gas. Nations known as petrostates derive almost all their wealth and power from it. The instant fusion energy becomes viable, their primary asset becomes worthless. Their currencies collapse, their governments, unable to fund themselves, crumble. Decades of security for oil deals that kept a fragile peace are instantly void. Russia's main lever over Europe? Gone. The Middle East's geopolitical importance? Fundamentally altered. The world map of power isn't just redrawn. It's set on fire, and a new resource curse begins, not for oil, but for the niche materials needed to build the new reactors. The world doesn't stop fighting over resources, it just changes which ones are worth fighting for. This isn't just geopolitical, it's the single largest act of creative destruction in human history. Trillions of dollars in fossil fuel infrastructure become obsolete overnight. Millions of jobs, from oil fields to shipping, evaporate, triggering a global economic crisis unlike any we've ever seen. But on the other side of that chaos is staggering progress. With energy costs near zero, things we once considered impossible become cheap. But there's a catch, a massive world-spanning bottleneck. You can generate infinite power, but you still have to get it to people. Our outdated electrical grids are completely unprepared for this new abundance. Without a multi-trillion dollar global upgrade, the dream of free energy remains a dream for many, creating a new divide of energy haves and have-nots. The breakthrough of limitless energy wouldn't be an endpoint. It would be the starting gun for a new global race. A race between utopian construction and chaotic destruction. Would it lead to a post-scarcity world, finally solving humanity's oldest problems? Or would the nations who control the new technology become the new masters, creating a new form of colonialism built on energy dominance? The day energy became free wouldn't be the end of our problems. It would be the beginning of a new high-stakes battle to define the very future of our civilization.